Oh my goodness, honey. Let me go ahead on and pin this number. 515-604-9300. Access code. Like you've been, and you know just what. What's up, Tammy? Took some time, it took some time for me to see. No, they did not turn Whitney Houston's song into a trap song. <laughs> they did not just do that. <laughs> Well, New Orleans don't play, bitch. You hear me? The quarters. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. This is your girl T. Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Brian the Scruff, BGC Jack, Facebook Periscope, <laughs> and last but not least, every single one of my motherfucking bitches. Chorus Chan Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl T.S. Madison. I'm coming to you loud, live, and always and forever in the color yet again from the marvelous chateau. And welcome to uh, the Queen's Supreme Court. Yes. After motherfucking show. After motherfucking show. And guess what? We're still here. Yeah. <laughs> here. 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 Oh, that's okay. I just want to let you guys know that if you thought we were gone. We're still here. 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 Okay. So, all right. So, all right, guys. So, we're here. Tonight was a lot of things tonight. We, we talked about a lot of stuff on the on the court ledger. We talked about Nicki, Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. Very serious. I already know that you guys are gonna call in with your with with your situations about Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. We're open to that. I I, I didn't I tried not to be lots of bias. I tried to point out the greatness. What? <laughs> 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 ah, wait a minute! <laughs> 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 my as fuck, Maddie. <laughs> I was not biased. Maddie, mm -mm. I was not. She won't. You even showed Cardi love. I did because yeah. I want. I, I kept was asking. Was I on the show? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Trey. Oh my God, my baby is over there. Oh my God, I miss you. I miss you, Kayla. <laughs> I was not biased, okay? The call in number is 515604. <laughs> <laughs> 9300. Access code 982884. Okay, my dress tonight is by is from Kush Clothing. Shouts out to Kush Clothing for my dress. Let me, I got, I'm going to post a picture. I love you, Caleb. I my love you. My jumpsuit is from the most expensive cheap store in the mall. Fashion Nova. <laughs> Hello. It's called Pink Clove. Is it from Clove. Fashion Nova? Pink Clove. It's Fashion Nova. Oh, me and Thank all. Thank you. Talking about tonight, host was great. Thank you. My cash app is. <laughs> you got him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The phone number is 515-604-9300. That's 515-604-9300. The access code is 982884. I'd like to give a special shout out to Kush Clothing for providing me with this. Let me let me stand. Okay, bitch. Speaking of Kush, where was it? For providing me with this old nasty rock'em sock'em. Okay. I'll take your man dress. I take okay. her man. Even though I will not take your man because I know your man don't have any of your money. <laughs> or mine. So, bitch, I don't need him. But this is that, yes. You know, I'm going to sparkle. Yes, bitch, show that ass. Ow, 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 Okay, Maddie. All the girls are rocking okay. wet and wet. But look at that arch, though. All the girls right, are rocking man. are rocking wet hair, so I, I decided to wet... Rock, rock me some wet poodle dog hair tonight, too. You wet poodle dog. <laughs> Bitch, it's sequence everywhere, all over my goddamn flow. 
secret. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna open the phone lines. Okay, before we open the phone lines, Nikki, you were you were you were really kind of trying to be silent on the Nicki Minaj. No, I was not. I was giving my opinion. Somebody and run you didn't give a fuck about this. my opinion. I'm gonna give it right now. I gave my opinion. You didn't give a fuck about it because it wasn't totally Nicki. It was not that I didn't give give a fuck about it because it wasn't totally Nikki Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I just shot the point out. You standing over here telling me everything okay, baby? You didn't give a fuck about what mm-hmm. I was saying. I didn't feel like oh. a judge tonight. You was a judge, but the, like the problem was you didn't want to be harsh. I was harsh. I told them hoes to make a song and apologize to each other. You were you because they listen. both have been wrong at times. <laughs> When has Nikki ever really been wrong other than rumors? Like, now, I love Nikki, that? but Nikki... No. Okay, is we talking about Jesus Christ? I love my Nikki. Yes, I love my Nikki. Let love. me tell you okay. something. I love my Nikki like a fat bitch love cake. I love Nikki. Yes. Nikki got some wrong... Nikki done did some shit now. Than Nikki, I agree that Nikki was right. Which Nikki? Can we all be honest for a second? All of the rumors that we done heard, what do we know for fact? But I ain't seen no receipts. I ain't yeah, seen no receipts. We don't have no but receipts. because I know how boss bitches work, because I'm a boss ass motherfucking what bitch. You see how Maddie? You see why we gotta go pray for Maddie? I know how boss bitches me, work, because I'm a boss ass bitch. Because I'm a boss ass bitch. So I know how boss bitches work. You gotta make boss moves, right? You do got to make boss moves when you a boss ass bitch. Girl. We also talked about Faith <laughs> Evans, and we, we talked about Faith e- Hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on. It's a lot of stuff going on behind me that shouldn't be. <laughs> Kendall, I ain't gonna call you four or five more. Listen, I did Kendall. I asked him for a piece of pizza. What you want to tell us? <laughs> I see they agree with me. Now, like I said, okay, we was talking about Faith Evans drinking that brown liquor over there motherfucking fight with goddamn (laughs) strung out over Stevie J, big dick ass. uh, a, a now, big ever, dick would have you acting crazy. It would. Yes or no? And big and bitch, if you get hit real hard from the back like Janet Jackson did Ooh. by Bobby Brown, bitch. If a nigga hit good you, dick will have you whispering. Like <laughs> See your booty don't. You ain't got hit. No, in the, if he you hit ain't, you from listen, the vagina and make your booty hole. Listen, you ain't got hit in the ass a lot, so you don't know how a booty hole do. Booty hole. No, I'm talking about getting hit. Booty hole expands. I'm not talking about getting hit from the ass, Madison. Yes. I'm talking you, about yellow jelly. You said it's boring, but well, we we gonna let you go, niece. Goodbye. Right. Who said there you go. Right. So there we go. Right. Anytime right. this boring, we're gonna right. let you go. Right. We're gonna go ahead and let you go on the bed. But goodbye, niece. Next. What a start of this. Right. Right. What a right. snow right. you motherfucker. Right. Dying right. some cum, bitch. Bitch. Right. Drown, ho. Bitch. Don't talk to me on my Christian day. Bitch. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. We also talked about Kaepernick. And Nike, we talked about Georgetta Zimmerman. We talked about a woman that blowed her motherfucking fingers off with dynamite. We talked about the Bobby Brown lyopic. <laughs> we talked about Bobby Brown's lyopic. We talked about the puppy John girl that played Whitney Houston. We talked about the black guy that killed by white woman in this entering by white police officer. We talked about a black team. We talked about Mac Miller going away to heaven. We talked about Selena Johnson, Heather Headley, Vivian Green, and hey. Sunshine Anderson on the one gotta go. I chose Selena. My spirit just don't resonate with her. That don't I mean I don't. Wait a minute. That don't mean I don't like don't like her, but it's just something. Something in her soul ain't right. I like Selena. I she Heather had to Haley. go tonight. Heather Haley is a soul singer for the white folks. Oh. Ooh. Was that too much? That wasn't enough. It Even was more. not enough. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody said, fuck me, F-A-K. I'm going to let you stay because I like the way you said, fuck you. Ooh. Fuck you. That means you don't really speak lots of the English language, motherfucker. <laughs> Sukumi. Ah. Sukumi di. Sukumi dick. Okay. Sukumi dick. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and open the line. Uh, Jamel, we're going to go ahead and open the phone lines. Please cut all the trap music <laughs> off. <laughs> we need the trap music to get cut off right now. Yeah. Uh, Jamel, we need you to cut off the trap music. 
Yeah, he up there doing something with that music. Jamel, we need you to cut the trap music off. Jamel, what the hell are you Jamel. doing? Jamel. You should have called him all that. Jamel. 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 Jamel, please, with the trap music. <laughs> Bring it down. Jamel. Listen, Jamel, Jamel got that hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to put this, you see this light, you see this why I don't let light skin folks up here in the house. I'm going to put this light skin queen out in a few minutes now. Back here. Make it all of this noise. And I got to fight with the music. Jamel, cut the goddamn music off! Jamel! That ain't your nose. I'm not like that. Let me. Janelle, where my piece is? I have a Kindle. Oh, okay. I'm in trouble. Why? Because I'm behind the scenes. Yes, I need you to get somewhere and sit down. You gotta give me a piece of pizza. Jamel, we're ready. <laughs> Jamel is not ready. He hot. Jamel is tripping and he I, ain't past it. Okay, I, you got to send him a text because they be so caught up in it. <laughs> it's unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> we're now unmuted, ladies. We're unmuted. All right, the call in number, motherfuckers, is 515 604 9300. Access code 92884. <laughs> Please call in, voice your concerns, talk about how you felt about the docket, about the co-host, about me. That's what he doing. No, Jamel don't got to do that because I slips and fall on Jamel, honey, all the time. Amen. All right. All right. So let us go. Jamel, open up the phone line because it's unmuted. 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 <laughs> all right. Oh, and just, for, well, hold on. For the record, Jamel will hang up on you. He, it, It's not me that's doing it. Jamel will hang up. What's his Instagram so they can know? On you. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so they can come All right, let's go. All right. Juror 9443 is the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge T.S. Madison and Special Guest Nikki Nicole. Whoa. What's your name? Where you calling from? Brust. And what's your judgment on tonight's session? <laughs> One minute, caller. Go ahead. Brust. Hey, Maddie, it's I, your girl, Dina, from New Jersey. What's up? What's up, New Jersey? What's up, babe? Daddy, mom, all day. All motherfucking day. Now, Maddie, you know I've been rocking with you from day one, right? Oh, Lord. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to say that every time we talk. It's always positive. Oh, Lord. Because I respect you. And I know you and love I Cardi B. You. you love some Cardi B. Come on. No, no, uh-uh. No, I love Nikki. Oh. Ooh. But, about, girl, let me tell you, honey, Maddie Ma was at, letting me have it today because I said that you and Nikki are friends. And I thought that she went to bat for you the other day. So today when she called you, you know, I think she was just expecting that same love because she really loves you. And I can tell it in her voice and with her words. And I was just telling them, I said, Maddie don't want no negativity and stuff behind her name so y'all need to start acting like you know we always been getting along we all been always been doing good but honey they went in on me because i said that but i love nikki but i just but but I, but you know even though i love nikki to the floor i still have to say like what's you know we got to say what people are saying like you know people are saying you know certain things like people felt because even the broad felt like that. Even Cardi possibly felt like that. Lots of things on the album were directed at her. So yeah, I just. But some of the stuff she said she wrote years ago, and I understand that. But I see, we wouldn't have never known that. Doing. Listen, okay. we would have never known okay. it if I would have never said anything about it. Like, if I would have never said anything about that, we would have. We would have right. never, never known that. that. So I right. said it I so that so that the queen could come out and say. Girl, yeah. I wrote this this yeah. year. I wrote this and this. So you, of course, I'm team. I'm team and Nikki, but I'm not gonna but, act like that. I ain't motherfucking Doodle -doo Brown to bow that yellow. They both wrong. Right. I, like I understand that, but you know what? You gotta stand up for something or fall for anything. And when right is right and wrong is wrong, that was the wrong place to be fighting. That's all. It was just a. Listen. You know what I'm saying? They just, if they want to fight, hey, let's rent out the hall and make some real deep. 
make the real money. Right. And that's the and, and I believe that's the only way. I really believe that's the only way that Nikki was going to do it. That's the only way she going to do it. That's the only way I see her doing it. Like, girl, I put that shit on some, put it on the album, put that shit on Queen Radio, put that shit where you going to be able to, to collect coins. Put that shit where you can be able to collect coins from. So I hear that, but honey, I'm telling you, this girl, your your mom, the leader, my body, she was like, dude, going in, calling me all kinds of names. I'm like, listen, listen, I'm a queen, honey. I ain't got time for that. But listen, you know, it gets real busy in that Maddie Mob, baby. That Maddie Mob is vicious, honey. <laughs> you know. But guess what? I'm here for it, honey. Yes. I'm from Jersey, so honey, I'm here for all this. All shit. right. Okay. Well, I have a question. But I have a question. That, with I you. love you, Maddie. No, no, don't leave yet. Don't leave, because I have a question. The question is, being that you're from Jersey, Bye. how did you feel about the girl that's playing, that played Whitney Houston in the biopic? That, none, none of them, none of them people look like nobody in the goddamn movie. <laughs> I don't know who the hell some of the people. Y'all you can't, can't even tell me this shit. Your mind Whitney, and try to make it like you be like confused, like who the hell is that? <laughs> You know, like, no, uh, some of the people don't look like that. I, I agree with you 100%. And they can find white people to match whoever they want in movies. And they try to act like, oh, we Is don't that all look like, stop that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> stop that bullshit. We don't all look alike. Okay, just like, one he, size don't fit all, we don't all look alike. That's right. All right, baby, thank you very much. I'm, Bye, girl. I, love, you, I love you, too. I love you, too. Hi, hello. Okay, Listen. Hello. Okay. I, okay bye hold bye. on before we go to the next call. Let me let Kendall get all the noise out that he needs to get out behind me. I'm trying to picture a drink. Say good morning, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Is this your I'm trying to get his drink together, girl. See, when he silence. come to Georgia, this way he's going to he gonna start realizing I can't get mad on the line when I want to come watch the show because you make all that goddamn noise. <laughs> drink the drink. <laughs> And I don't make little drinks like this. My drinks be full. Oh. All right. Next caller. All right. Close caller my liquor. Caller 6891. This is the Queen Supreme Court after show with just guest medicine and special guest Nikki Nicole. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, caller. <laughs> Hey, I'm um, Maddie. This is Terry from Oklahoma City. Hey, Oklahoma City. What's up, babe? Yeah, hey, um, I just wanted to know, like, what is the whole... What do you think about this whole beef for Nikki and Cardi? Like, me, honestly, I'm team Nikki. And I feel like Nick Cardi, she's trying to be Nikki, and she's mad because Nikki's been doing it for a long time, and Cardi's trying to steal her place. How do you feel about all that? I feel it's a rival between two women. Yes, I agree. I agree. That's yeah, what it is. I don't know how to really deeply elaborate on it because I'm not in. I'm not where they are in the industry, and I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I hear Nikki saying Atlantic is doing things. I hear Cardi saying that she she feels that Nikki is trying to stop her bag. And all the rest of the girls are saying that Nikki trying to stop their bag. I, I hear them saying that. Right. Do I believe that? Girl, y'all y'all was in before that girl. Some of y'all was in the game before that girl. So what are you... Like, how, how she... Anyway. Now that... I, okay, concur. Right. Okay, vocabulary, concur. You concur? Ooh. I think Nikki making all them famous. She should stop. The addiction. I'm sorry. What? Uh, somebody said they think that I'm delusional because Cardi Ooh, took over. Girl, Don't here. listen to the comments. No, y'all call, call, and I'll be quiet back there. Y'all, y'all think I'm delusional because Cardi, because Cardi took over? Okay. Well, I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinion. They saying go, Barty, go, Barty. All right, cool. <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but uh, but there were other girls that came out and said that Atlantic was trying to pay them money 
to who was it? Lady Lashure and Cupcake the rapper. Cupcake and Lady and Lashure. Lady Lashure from London. And they Lady said Cake that they were trying to pay. Atlanta was trying to pay them to do stuff towards Nicki. I have right. a question. And then they signed Cardi. What so, about the other I, women? I, I absolutely women. agree with that. Somebody's talking about the other women that came up, like Jessica Dime and some other women that was coming up saying that Nicki's a, excuse me, a bully in the industry and that she stopped that paper. Did you see that? Can I? Where I like to hear some some of Jessica Dime's yeah, Jessica music. Dime, I like oh, Dime. I'd like to hear some of her music. Well, she don't have Next question. Now, why do you want to hear about Jessica Dime? Next question. Mm-hmm. It's all about Nikki. I'm with you, Jamel. Don't hang Next with me. question. I don't want to hear about Jessica Dime. Let's talk about her. Call her. Listen. All right, we'll call her. I mean, we both team Nikki here. We team Nikki here, but I don't hate Cardi B though. Right. I don't have to. Ha- I don't have to hate these people to be on somebody else's team. I don't have to hate that. Hate. I agree with that. I feel you. I, I feel you, Maddie. I'm totally I don't. I agree. I'm not gonna bash that girl and throw her in the ground, but she shouldn't have been at no motherfucking place trying to pull her fucking uh, Cinderella Did heel off <laughs> to be throwing no shoes. Do you think she went there intentionally to do that? I do. I do think I that do. she went yeah, there she to did. intentionally battle that girl. I do feel mm-hmm. that. Yes. I, mm-hmm. Oh wow. She wasn't gonna see her nowhere else. Okay, thank exactly. You for her. She waited. In New York fashion. Week. I think they boosted her up. And not only okay, just New York fashion. Thank you, thank you, baby. Thank she you so much. Simple. She real simple minded. I think they you boosted too. her up. They boosted and her up. She went wild. Cardi B went to the wrong place. No, she did. Huge child. child. Come on, let's get these calls in. We'll talk about this when the when the show. So, okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, call us 6099 at the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge Keith Madison and special guest Nikki Nicole. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, call her. Hi. Hello. Hey, Maddie. Hi, baby. <laughs> okay. First of all, oh, I'm sorry. I'm Kayla from Cincinnati, Ohio. Hey, Kayla from Cincinnati, Ohio. First of all. <laughs> First of all, I just want to address the big elephant in the room. Is it me? Nikki is the start of all these beats. Uh, Which Nikki? She's the core of all these beats. Oh. What she did, babe? Tell me what she did. (laughs) Tell me. Okay, she started mess with Miley. She started mess with Remy Ma. She started mess with Little Kip. She started mess with Safari. Everybody. So I, t- <laughs> so I take it that you're not Team Nikki. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> she's not. not. Yes. Allegedly. You know, this girl thinks she's above everything. <laughs> I never liked her. Okay. I never liked her music. Is that the truth? Okay. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Jamel, um, don't do that. Listen, everybody's you know, you can like everybody's entitled like to their opinion. Music, but her personality sucks. What? I like it. I love. Well, well maybe love you it. know what? Maybe like, maybe the way I feel now. about Selena Johnson is probably the way you feel about Nikki. So I can't. <laughs> oh, oh you going head to head thing. Woo! <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, cause I love her. I just think right, she didn't even up. take responsibility for her own actions. Well, what did she do? Tell, you, what did she do, Thank Jamel? What, Thank did you, she, what did she do? Thank you, she does little something I mean, we high can't just Bye, Carla. We're okay. going to do the same thing all night about Nikki. Amen. Okay. All right. Uh, well, is that well, the well, listen, talking shit? Yeah, no, that's what I'm ready to say. Well, okay. <laughs> and then she plays victim. She's still on Well, they say the same thing about me. Me too. They say the same thing. <laughs> you keep it real, Maddie. I do, you keep but. It real. I don't like it. Uh-uh. Nikki is just so fake. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I know that's your so girl, but I do not like her. Okay. Um, Amen. All right, baby. Your own opinion. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. You don't even know. Let's know All right. Next one. Huh? Okay. Let's go. Seven one six five. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show. But just here. Ah. Ah. Wait a minute. Okay. My enemies. My enemies. Yes. Hello. Two hats. What's up, T.S. Madison? Hi, baby. 
Caller, thank you so much for calling in because that's the way I feel. That's what I told that's her today. I, I told her that yeah. today on Queen Radio. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Thank you, caller. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, come on. Why got one more thing to say? Everybody keeps saying that, oh, they don't like no this person's personality and that person's personality. First of all, we are all people looking on on social media by everybody. So we don't know them personally to say anything about their personality or their character or who they is or what they represent or what they stand for. We only know what they show us. So Come we don't on, know you, Nobody. I don't even know you see as medicine like that, but I know what you show. And right. we don't know you neither. Right. 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 A lot of times you see certain things that people display that really be those that really be those people. Amen. Okay. Okay. Listen, you don't see. No, 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 babe. Listen, you don't see me. You don't see me with my wig off laying on the table. You don't see me fat. You don't see me dead. I show the dents all in my ass and legs because I don't really give a fuck. So you know you got, you know, when you see a bitch like that, you're like, that bitch really don't, she don't give a fuck about shit like that, that bitch. Yeah, yeah I, and see, and you recognize that, but as far as people saying like certain <laughs> people with, with, like you can't go into details and, and going like, you can't, you can't really say that you know people, know people like that for sure, for sure. Yeah, you show me that. Yeah, yeah, I recognize. Okay, that's real. That's Judy. You know, you're doing that. But can I say, you know, do I know you personally like that? Like that? No. Like that too. Like that. To, to say that. Oh, I don't like your personality. <laughs> I don't like your characteristics and who you, what you stand for and what type of person. I can't say that. You right. And that's just keeping it real. I can't say that. You right. You right. You right. So I need to retract my statements by Selena Johnson. Amen. Not. But. <laughs> 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 not. <laughs> not. I cannot. Thank you, Carla. I am your one. Right, Carla. Carla six four zero eight. This is the Queen Supreme Court after show with Judge T S Madison and special guest Nikki Nicole. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's legend? Go ahead, Carla. Yes, my name is Charmaine. I'm calling from Chicago. Okay, Charmaine. My question is about the upper echelon, per se. Oh. You know. Ooh. Okay. Hi, Maddie, I love you. I'm sorry. I love you, baby. We, we, I, I made everybody get quiet so we can hear you. A event in New York, but Nikki had Ra Ali on her panel today. Okay, I'm sorry. She had medicine on that. I thought that it was an upscale event in New York, you know, fashion and all of that. But Nikki had Ra Ali on her show, and Ra acted a complete fool at Diddy, one of the richest men out, his New Year's Eve party when she bought Scott. What's the difference? Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, when I when I went up, because Diddy is black and and they were white majority. I mean, it's the same thing. Uh, Ra Ali did put hands on Sky. Did I did. She though? We did. I did watch that. She, uh, she did do it at the uh, P Diddy's thing. But Ra Ali did take responsibility for that. She did come back and say that she had no business cutting up and carrying on like that. She did say that. So I mean, oh, that was a good question. Mm. Y'all done put me in the corner, girl. I'm in the corner. Fight! Fight, murder! Fight! <laughs> Let me out! You gotta so, get out, bitch. Nah, <laughs> girl, listen. Somebody in the comment section said Diddy's party versus. Thank you, Maddie. Ratchet, you, Ratchet is 
ratchet. You so right. I'm not aware they are. You I'm right. And you know you got a ratchet spirit in you. You, you right. right. <laughs> yeah, my sister on the phone ratchet. She's in Chicago. Everybody has a ratchet spirit in them and just what's going to make it come out. Am I right or wrong? Right. All these ratchets in here, don't y'all get quiet. We were not, I, I would not. Spirit. I see right. your spirit. I would not. Look at your spirit. Look at your ratchet right up on shoulder. Look at your bathroom parking lot. But not we all all right. Yeah, not that event. Just yeah. not that I'm event. Right. Okay, okay. It's certain events that you get Well, you know Mary J. Blige, it was up there drinking that brown liquor. <laughs> and it was another fight up there at oh, the motherfucking P. Diddy party. <laughs> <laughs> it's, they always fight that P. Diddy party, bitch. <laughs> So yeah, that was I just that was a common thing. Mary J out there drinking that brown Hello. liquor. And the bitch came down. Yeah, she, she up there drinking that brown <laughs> liquor, talking about motherfucking. Right. They said it's your <laughs> child. I love you. I love you too, baby. And it really messed me up, bitch. Oh. You know. All right, next caller. To God. Amen. I need you to start your, your opening statement. Give, give an honor to God give and an Christ. Honor. And okay. thank you for blessing us with the Queen Supreme right. Court. My name is. Okay. Go ahead, There's babe. A call on the line. Oh, come on, babe. Oh, I was listening. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is MJ from uh, St. Louis. Hey, MJ. Um, so I'm kind of not on the topic of Nikki and Cardi because I feel like Nikki is the only one that matters, so let's move on. <laughs> so my question is, um, are you going to write about the book? Am I going to do what, Mom, baby? <laughs> yes, I, I am in the process of writing another book. Okay, I'm sorry. That was my only question. I just was wondering. Oh, thank you, baby. Yes. <laughs> the name of my new book is called. I love you. The name of my new book is called The Times He Loved Me. Ooh, Amen. Ooh, I like that. It's called The Times He Loved Me, and on, in that book, I'm, I'm outlining the times that Trey had me in the book. Ooh, in the book. And those were the only oh. times that he oh. loved me. Okay. But it's it's very explicit. It's real deep. It's dark. It takes you on a journey from where I was on the block to where I am in the bedroom upstairs, honey, from uh, from Eros Guide, and then my moving on from that. The times he loved me. I do name a name, but I, I might some of the names have been changed around. They're, they're, some of them that used to end with an E or an I end with an O. Oh. <laughs> Bitch, I cannot. He <laughs> don't even know what to say. <laughs> exactly. Yo, I can't. We'll be blessed. All right, next caller. Caller 5724. <laughs> it's the Queen Supreme Court after show with just T.S. Madison and special guest Nikki Nicole. What's your name? Where you're calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's ledger? One moment. I had one more to call. Well, you check off later, sir. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? The times he loved me. All right, me. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Splash. Hello? Is this Matt Madison? Yes, who's calling? <laughs> yes, this is Armand. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. It's Armand Wiggins. Hey, Armand. Armand Wiggins. <laughs> it's Armand Wiggins, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And listen, it's about to get real messy. <laughs> Yes, yes, it is going to get real messy, and I'm sure the barbs and some of the Barbie gang is not going to like me. Well, let's go. Let me move but the Jamel. Jamel, Jamel, please, please give, please give Armand one minute thirty seconds. <laughs> please do. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Nikki, I'm only talking about Nikki Minaj. And Madison, I know you can't talk too much about Nikki because you're an honorable host on the show. So I have to do it. No, I'm not an honorable host. Nikki. That's just my girl. <laughs> that is my girl, so listen, honey. Nikki Minaj is playing a strategic game of chess. Okay? She's not she's playing, playing spades. Media. She's not playing spades, uh, Armand. She's playing chess, she's not spades, honey. She's playing chess. 
And what she's doing is she's using the very vibe that people love about Cardi B against her. So Nicki Minaj is playing the media against Cardi B. She has Cardi B looking like she is this outrageous, upset person while Nicki Minaj remains humble, poised, like this queen. And everybody knows it's not about rap anymore. Everybody knows that Nicki Minaj can out-rap Cardi B any day. But in the court of public opinion, Cardi B is outselling Nicki Minaj. Cardi B makes better music than Nicki Minaj. And Cardi B, people are throwing that name Queen around. So Nicki Minaj sees and hears that. And let's be very clear. What female rapper is being able to go to these upper echelon events and sit alongside Nicki Minaj? Mm -hmm. Cardi B. You don't see Remy there. You don't see Cash Doll there. You don't see none of these other females there. The only girl that's being able to sit next to Anna Wintour, the only girl that's able to go to the Met Gala that's a female rapper is Nicki and Cardi. And Nicki sees that. So if she can tarnish Cardi's image, like basically letting these people with these big endorsements and these investors see like, you know, she's an animal. She's outrageous. She doesn't know how to carry herself at such an upper echelon event. Maybe they'll not no longer invite her. Maybe Armand, well, well let me, well let me, okay, Maybe Armand, okay, okay, well let me with ask no you. no endorsement. Okay, Armand, okay, well I need, I, okay, well I need, I, I need to, celebrity. I need to ask a question. No in the running for the queen. But I need to ask a question. Get your ass no. out of traffic. I, you know, <laughs> I need to ask a question. Oh, now, Armand, you said this, you, you, you stated this, and you've pleaded that. Let me ask you this. Did Nikki tell her to throw a shoe at her? At the upper echelon? Nikki did not tell her to throw a shoe did at her. Did Nikki tell so her to minutes. come there and pull her weave and put her wig in a rubber band and act this way at this place? Did Nikki, do, did Nikki come there dressed in, in, in sneakers and a t-shirt. Did she come there? I don't feel okay. like nobody was expecting so let me So let me ask you this. You said that Nikki's worth $75 million and Cardi B is worth $4 million, correct? Yes, they're both multimillionaires. So both of them have M's attached to their network. So they're, they're not going to go meet at a local liquor store. They're not going to go meet <laughs> at the local Walmart. The only place they are going to see each other is at an upper echelon event. They're going to fight differently. They're going to they're going to argue in different spaces. They're not going to argue like you and I. Like at a big Their money is biggest. much longer. <laughs> so they're going to meet up in different spaces. So that whole, this is not the time and the place for that. Where else would they have met? <laughs> That's a good that? question. First of they're, all, they're not gonna go meet at Joe's Crab Shack. Oh well, let's not they're act too like much money for that. Okay, well let's not act like a bitch can't send a bitch a tweet and say, "Bitch, meet me at meet me at the club. It's going down on the private meet island. Meet me in the trap. It's going down. That's not gonna meet happen, me in the store. It's, it's going thing. down. Rent a jet. And you know, defense, going down there. I do feel like Cardi warranted that smoke. Cardi wanted that smoke because when Cardi first came out, what was she saying? Oh, well, there was a female rapper who was really, really popular, and she and I ran into her, and I tried to speak to her, and she rolled her eyes at me. So from day one, Cardi has been planting that little seed out there, and she never once said, I don't have an issue with Nicki Minaj. Whenever the fans and the people would say, oh, you know, Cardi and Nicki is deeply, she would never say, hey, there's no issue. She welcomed the smoke. So, girl, Cardi, you cannot, when Nikki has to fight back, Nikki's not going to fight like she's from the street. She got too much money for that. She's going to fight strategically. So, bitch, you cannot fight the queen the way you want to. You have to fight the queen on her own terms. So you need to outsmart her or be outsmarted. It's that simple. But my question is, how, 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 do you, how do you think that she would be able to outsmart Nikki? <laughs> I'm just asking No, I'm asking the strategy. I'm just I'm asking but I'm asking the strategy. How do you think that she would how do you think that she would really I'm just asking the strategy. How do you think that she could she's gonna outsmart Nikki? How does she uh, she needs to just keep doing what she's doing because she's already winning. 
Nikki is the one that's cracked. Cardi B doesn't even know what that Nikki is doing. Uh, uh, I would keep winning. She has the number one rap album of the year. She has two number one hits off of her album. Nicki Minaj doesn't even have a song in the Billboard Top 10. Not one song. Okay, oh, so. Oh, she has Fifi, but it's not even her song. Okay. Not one song off a of Nicki Minaj album is in the top 10. What is that noise? Okay. <laughs> okay, with, well, with, that being, with that being said. Armand, and I'm going to take you. With that being said... Nicki Minaj's tour got canceled due to low ticket sales. How he get more than a minute and 30 seconds? Hold on, because I, I, need I, need I, need I needed to debate this out. Okay. With that being said, Armand, with all of the accolades and all of the things that you just placed in front, and you said that this girl is beating her <laughs> now and whoop de whoop and all that, you said this. Would you not, if it was you, take that in consideration when you showed up to the Met... To not the Met Gala, but what is this? Yeah, to the New York Fashion Week and yeah, flick your hair at a bitch like bitch you could possibly because never. You know you because you ass. know that you whooping yeah. ass. Would you not flick your hair and be like, bitch, you could possibly <laughs> never. Okay? <laughs> bitch, do you think I would throw off? You think I would take this Cinderella pump off and toss it at you? Bitch, I'm beating you. Would you not think that that's the attitude that she could have just... You could possibly She's never. She's not that seasoned yet. Let's be Wait a minute. Here. Did you say She's smarter season? What? Did you which S did you use? Season. Which S did you use? Did you use the S? Did you wait? Did you say smart or season? You said season. Okay. I thought you said. Okay. Yeah. She's not. Well, my question is, how do you think that she would outsmart Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> With time, you get smarter. I don't think she's going to be that stupid again. Remember, there was a point in time where Cardi B was addressing everything. And I'm really sounding like I'm defending the shit out of Cardi B. And you I'm are. Not, I'm trying to come yeah, off that heard. way. But I'm just trying to let you be very clear. Nikki is not the victim like she is portraying herself to be. Like, she literally is throwing the rock and hiding her hand and manipulating the media. What is he Where's his receipts? Well, I mean, but the receipts, not, not he did. Armand. Who keeps making that? That's Jamel noise? doing that. Armand. Ah. Now, I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm not going to. I'm not going to disagree with you when you said things about her, what she has. Like, she has this in the billboard. Can you run, can you run me back the receipts on what she currently has right now? Run me the receipts. <laughs> I believe, because I'm not looking at it, but I do believe okay. that what she got, Cardi B right now is number two and number three on the Billboard Hot 100. And I believe Fifi dropped to what number? Actually, I got the receipt right here. Let me look at it. Listen, that's another minute. Give me one second. I need mean, because because this Cardi this how they gonna try to eat me. Yeah. 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 Fuck it up, man. Hold on. Oh, no. Fifi is number four. She said, who, what's number three and what's number four? Cardi B is number two and number three. And Fifi is number four with, with Nicki Minaj and Six Nine. Who is Cece? Yeah, you Drake is number one. Oh. But let's be clear. But Nicki Minaj Minaj has never had a number one on her own. Ever. Who? Who then? Ever. So with all of those accolades that you just said to me, explain to me why this woman is at New York Fashion Week with her motherfucking shoe in the air. Because, that's, because, because for that attitude, it's the same reason why we made that bitch famous. Cardi B can't rap. Can't but know. she has a personality. Right. I don't give a fuck personality. She's turned up. She'll read a bitch. She'll run down on a bitch twice. We like that. Let's <laughs> not act like we don't like the rap. Bitch. That's why she became a star. So why do what you expect anything different from her? She hasn't learned that she's got to change up a little bit. I did say that. I did say that. Most rappers and all that. The very thing that made her famous, now you guys are trying to crucify her for. And let's be very clear. This is not going to hurt Cardi B. What it's really going to do in the end is hurt Nicki Minaj. Because, in my opinion, people in the industry are going to start to say, you know what, bro, this is not everybody else, bro. This is you, and we're going to do this. Oh, somebody came in. So they're, they're going to still continue to work with Cardi B, despite the, the games that Nicki Minaj tries to That's play. Amazing. That's amazing. It, it's going to happen, because that, everybody can see that Manic, Nick, Nicki Minaj is manipulating the beat. Hey, somebody is chasing you. Run. I think it's one of the 
But all right, that's all I have to say. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. right, all right. Well, we, well Armand, you know I thank like you. I, 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 you uh, thank you for <laughs> your you opinion. Too. I love you too, baby. Thank you okay, very much. You. Okay. Well, all right, all right. with all with with you what just was that? that was eating him up. That was Jamel yeah. making the sound. Ooh. With you saying all with 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 you hearing all that, please. What is your retort to that situation? I agree with some of the stuff that he said. Like, come on, you the judge tonight. What you agree? I mean, with? I agree with him how he went in on Nikki and how he's saying how Cardi B is. Who she is, and that's what I'm saying. Like most rappers and stuff, they get in the game and they go to jail. Like, How can you go to jail? How can you get a felony? That's what that nigga was doing before. He got the money. The money doesn't change anybody. It makes you a bigger monster. Unless you correct yourself. And most people don't correct themselves. You have a whole bunch of yes men and a whole bunch of people around you just gratifying what you're doing. You're going to be a bigger monster. Mm -hmm. If you came and everybody's like, yeah, be ratchet. Why would you stop? If you're making money from doing that, why would you stop? She's losing money from doing that too. No, but at first I mean, she was making money from doing it. Yeah. She I mean, but, everybody, oh, this but is everybody mad. fell in love with the through sh with the shoe throwing. We beefing forever, Cardi. Everybody did. You get on reality TV and continue being that. But not but how at does this part. Differentiate reality TV from real life if that's who she, she needs. Ha she needs handling. Everybody's like, oh, you being real, don't change. And when you get somewhere, don't they change. want you to change. How do you differentiate that? Let's be real. When you've been acting at ratchet forever and they say, okay, now you're around these white folks, we want you to act a certain way. When does that click in your head? Let's be real. Okay, now I have to act different. When but you're my losing fans money. love me acting yeah, this no, way. Let's be real. Right. Act accordingly. I was raised that way. Right, I was raised that way. Everybody is not raised that Okay, everybody. Every, okay, hold on. Let me use my... I got to use myself for an example. I got to use my... That's yes. I came into business swinging my, swinging my genitalia. No! Hold on. I came into business okay. swinging my genitalia at the door. I, I can no longer do that. That is no longer my ministry. I get it. I've done it. People have laughed about it. That made that a lot of that shit went viral and people understood it, whatever. But mm -hmm. after that was done, it was either my duty to make a left or make a or make a no, right or left. You're right. You're right. And, but everybody doesn't think like that. Well, it, everybody may not think like that. However, I, I, imagine the public still judging me based off of come on mm -hmm. in. Right. I mm -hmm. see people still post those mm -hmm. videos about me. Yep. I don't say nothing about it, you know. I it was that's who I was at that time. That is a staple in my journey, in my life you cycle. Right. That is a staple. There, adult entertainment is a part of my life cycle. That's not my life. That's not. That was one space in my life. But let's be real. How many people, when you go to the next level, if I want to say, hey, I don't want to talk about sex and do whatever I've done forever. Jeez. When I go to, a, to the next level, how many people are not going to remind me of where I came from? I mean, from? they can remind you, but you don't have to have those conversations with Amen. those people. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. hold conversations with that unless somebody's asking me, Madison, where were you yesterday? How did you get here today? I'm going to talk about it then, but if right. I'm sitting around a group of everybody and we talking about it, come on in, me and, we don't need to be having that type of discussion Perfect. because that's not what I do. I don't do adult entertainment anymore. I don't sell ass and... <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but I will. <laughs> if, if the price is right. But at least I'm being honest. You get what I'm saying? At least I'm being honest. But I will, but that's not where my mind from is. That's not where my main that's not where my main income comes from. That's not that's not where I'm at in that place anymore. That's not where I'm at. So especially with all the opportunities that have been awarded to me to be at galas and events and Fashion you weeks and know. all that type of stuff. You get what I'm saying? People ask me, Madison, you going to come to fashion? Bitch, no. Y'all host, is my name on the flyer? That's how I feel. You feel me? I, my mind frame should be like, bitch, Madison, you need to go there because this is this is exposure you need, this and the other. Nikki told me, bitch, when you in town, come on down here, bitch, come on, do this, come on, do the show with me or whatever. I'm not going to get on the show talking about, come on in. Yes, I may joke about it. I might make a small joke about it, but I'm there to talk about issues and things yeah, yeah. that we're doing. Just like I'm talking about this stuff on the show, I may joke about new weave 22 inches and this, mm -hmm. stuff, but you, there has to come a growing point yeah. in your life. Amen. She Amen. done. No, I agree. She has been awarded major opportunities, like from throwing them fucking but shoes. In what time frame? Girl, she done been awarded major opportunities from throwing them motherfucking shoes till she quit oh, loving hip hop. Amen. Till she said she's out here with number one, number two, and number three that's songs. 
Oh, on the said, fucking billboard. Well, that shit might have moved faster that, than her maturity. That is fake news, and because that out, because Atlantic is pushing her. To her point, that girl ain't ready. That's she what I'm saying. All of that is rushed because it's fake, and she's pushed, and she ain't. Well, ready. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And her fans ain't real fans because they're encouraging this bullshit. They're encouraging her to lose everything. I no, I don't agree with that. that. I think that maybe her fans, her fans, her fans, her fans no, can relate to her. So that's why that. Okay. Listen, a lot of your listen. There are a lot of people that become your fan in the space that you're in and that level, and they exactly. don't grow. Exactly. Like, yeah. Just like there are people that are fans yeah. of me that don't know I do the Queen Supreme Court, don't know I do the cooking show, don't know that I host around the world, don't know I got a song with RuPaul, don't know that I've done all of these things, don't know that I do speaking engagement. They don't know that because they're still stuck on. Girl, I ain't seen no videos from you. Know why? Right. Come on in. Right. I don't do that. <laughs> That's not what I do. I'm, I'm glad that this is the place that you that. You you got stuck right there, and that's cool. I still love y'all. Hug your neck. Buy my merchandise because I still sell that merchandise t-shirt on www.tsmadisontshirts.com. Amen. You can get you can still run me that like I'm gonna still get ran that money from that from them old pornographic movies that can I did. I still something? run me that. If you was in your twenties, can you say the same thing? Because we know you're older and you're wiser. If you was in your twenties, you but you say the same I, thing. I, I don't. I, but I was. I was willing to grow in my twenties. You have to be stupid. willing to grow. I agree I with that, it. but everybody's not where you at. The no, fun. they're not. But everybody should strive to no, grow. No, I agree it with you. I listen. At the end of the day, I agree with you. But I, I'm not saying I'm where Cardi is, but I understand where she is because it was. I grew up late. I was I was very childish for a very long time, so I understand people expect me to do something because they're there, and I wasn't there. That just wasn't my journey. I wasn't there. At what point does it become? A, at what point do you grow? Do you well, have, do you get forty and then you start growing? People expect you to, to live what they expect. No, I, and, and, and listen, and to her defense, I I, I do believe that. And I'm not bashing that girl because she's still young. She still she got new money, fresh money. Yeah. Like, like first of all, this girl went out and bought a car and didn't even have no fucking driver's license. Amen. Right. Amen. Don't get yeah. your license. Yeah, I need another drink. What, 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 <laughs> I need another drink. <laughs> <laughs> We should have to give me cast out. It was right. what, a two hundred thousand dollar car, hundred thousand dollar car. That's fine. And bought her man a car. She bought her man a car before she bought, she bought, she bought, she she bought her herself her one. <laughs> so of course the mind frame is from where it's from or whatever. But hold on, give us a second. I'm sorry, I started that up. He should have went in the refrigerator and got the ice. Right. Out the mind frame is where it is, <laughs> but you have to also water the. You have to water your mind. You have to allow your mind. You have to step back. She needs to step back and look at this situation right here. That 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 shoe going across there. Yeah, the people gonna love her. Yeah, cause people are ratchet. Mm. I'm ratchet, bitch. I might say, bitch, wherever I catch you at, but I may not mean that because, bitch, I may be like. Bitch, it's either bitch, a bitch in that said, I'm gonna give you five million dollars to, to endorse my dress. I got to think about five million dollars or a bitch liking a tweet. Pussy! Uh-uh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy ass ho- uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Y'all got five million dollars over there. Fuck you, ho! <laughs> Yo, now I, feel I may you flick my hair to him like, bitch, you could possibly never. <laughs> right. Hello? I may give you that, but bitch, I ain't finna lose that motherfucking fine. Bitch, you could possibly never. Because, bitch, $4 million ain't no whole heat. Mm-hmm. Not when you spending it at a rate of oh, a $200,000 car. Oh, no. God damn it. Get the towel out the closet. No, 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 no. Wasting my right. good liquor. Not if my good t- phone. Well, your phone will be fine. That's an iPhone. Okay. Not spending money at the rate of <laughs> not spending money at the rate of the way million millionaires spend money at a millionaire's rate, bitch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause you this, the millionaires that be rich as fuck, and then you be like, bitch, what happened to all the millions of dollars, girl? Bitch, I had to have a Bugatti. Bitch, that's two million. Bitch, I had to have motherfucking gold plate sets. Tony Braxton. Bitch, I had to have this. I had to have that. Like, girl, I mean, come on. Like, you, you live in a multi-million dollar life. And it's like, girl, bitch, you will run through that. You will run through millions of fucking dollars. Bitch, you got... Look at Mary J. I ain't never seen her without a nasty boot on, bitch. Hello? A nasty $10,000 fucking boot on her feet. Talk about it. So, bitch, you think $10,000 a day? These bitches, these bitches got to be these places a day, a week, a month. Bitch, that money is going to go. There's no fucking way I'm going to p- take off my motherfucking kitten heel and toss to that nail bitch when it's millions of dollars on the line. Can we talk about something else? No, because this is what's the hot topic. Taxes, 35%. Oh, 
This the hot motherfucking topic. Jamel, come on, let's take another call. Uh, 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 uh Kendall. Right. Yes, ma'am. What's the tea? I got her drink. The tea is on my phone, bitch. Zero eight zero nine. <laughs> I got it, girl. <laughs> After show, we just she has Madison and special guest Nikki Nicole. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment on tonight's pleasure? Go ahead, call her. I'm sorry, baby. I got it. Go ahead. Go Hello, Carla. No, I got it. We clean up Hello. Shit. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Patricia from Nevada, Maddie. I love you, girl. You're so, you're everything. I love you too, okay. baby. We're going to have so to put this girl phone in the microwave. This <laughs> 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 Wait a minute. Okay. So here's, here's my problem. Both of these girls come from a poor background. And they've worked hard. And they've gotten to where they're gotten. I'm not going to compare stats. I'm not going to say who's got number one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't matter. <laughs> They're both in a position of power. They have black girls, little Latina girls, white girls, who cares, looking up to them. Here we are at this place, New York Fashion Week, where black people and Latina people weren't allowed 10 years ago. <laughs> and you've got Cardi B, who they now been given a platform this girl was poor five years ago. Coming in there, throwing off her, throwing her shoe at somebody based off of a tweet that she thinks Nicki Minaj liked that criticized her parenting. That's stupid. Point blank. I mean, that's the way it's I stupid. feel. That's the way we I feel. We have to stop portraying ourselves like we're on Jerry Springer, like we're on Mari Povich. We are black women. We're Latina women. We are women of color. And let's just be real. The white media is going to do anything and everything to discredit us. Period. So I'm not going to let Cardi be off the hook on this. Grow up. You are a mother, you are a wife, you have this platform, you have this opportunity. And if you can't handle the platform, take your ass back to love and hip hop. It's it's that simple. And as far as Nicki Minaj, (laughs) she dope, she cool, and Cardi's dope and cool too. And I understand some of the points Nicki Minaj is saying because people play her like she's crazy. <laughs> okay. Whoa. People play her like she don't know yeah, sorry, what she's doing. I get it. I got it. She's going to have to, in my opinion, learn how to articulate herself better because I know she's a smart woman. Take a step back, sit down, regroup, figure it out. Both of them. I don't care about rap beef. They can hit do this rap beef all day, every day. I don't care. But when it comes to representing yourself, do better. Be better. And stop acting like some punk bitches. All right. Okay, I'm going to do punk bitches. All right. All right. Thank you, Carla. Thank you for calling in very much. I love you guys. I love you too. All right, Jamel. Take, uh, I think we got time for one or two more calls. One more. And then Maybe we got... one and a half. <laughs> No. The fuck? All right, call a two seven four four. It's the Queen Supreme Court after show with you. Oh, we Houston don't Madison have, we don't Sister have. A, Nikki Nicole. Only one call. What's your name? Where you calling from? And what's your judgment <laughs> on tonight? <laughs> Is that Ayala Benitez? Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Thirty uh, seconds, caller. Yes, Thirty um, seconds. Um, I just wanted to know, like, what really bothers you about the Nikki and Cardi situation? Like, what is? <laughs> Thing that's yeah, have you not been listening? But what bothers me is the is the shoe throwing at a place like that. That's one. And then two, what bothers me is, you know, I want Nikki to, you know, I, them people saying lots of shit about Nikki. I want her to. I, she addressed it today, so like I was really kind of at her for not really addressing the things that people are was saying about her. I wanted her to speak about it because when you sit back and a lot of times when you get quiet on things, people take that as truth. That is true. Okay. Yeah. I will right, speak right. from the valley. Yes. 
There are hills. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Carla. The, the, our time is running out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the after show. Nick and Nicole, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, yeah. Nick and Nicole. Yeah. I will see you guys next Monday. I love you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 B